Do you work out? Uh, every day. So if you go to the gym, what type? Is it the same? Um, no, I uh, pole dance. and uh, Oh my goodness, really? Yes, so I'm you still... you know how to do like all those pole moves? I do. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. I'm trying to learn. Well, I started out with a, a Russian trainer who uh-huh. was dead set on on all the tricks so i learned all the tricks but i didn't learn how to do the dance moves that make it graceful yeah so now i'm going kind of back to square one and now i'm using a french trainer to teach me the elegant parts of it you know how to put your hands a certain way how to turn a certain way so i could do all of the athletic side you know doing the inverts and and hanging by one leg Uh and hanging you know moving your one, from one leg to the next without using your hand. All those things I can do. That's not a problem. That's but amazing. it doesn't look very um, like graceful. graceful. Like, yeah. So now <laughs> I have to do that. So that's, uh, you know, she's uh, in my head all the time. I point your toes, point your toes, point your <laughs> That's all I hear all the time. Point yeah. your toes. <laughs> <laughs> then your next song is going to have to be something about pointing the toes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's actually something that is on my list of things to do. I started to take uh, pole dance classes a while back. I was dating somebody and I wanted to give them a lap dance. So I took pole classes, dancing classes, and I learned how to spin, but I didn't learn like the other tricks. You know, I just, I, it takes a while. It takes a while. And it's like a, yeah, it takes a while. So I just did like the basic. So after I had done that, I just took one class of um, doing the, um, Like lap dancing. Yeah. So I did that and it was only one class because then after that, you know, I just got busy doing other stuff and then the relationship just didn't work out and I just kind of like put it on hold. But I still want to do that. That's like on my list of things to do. Just get used to bruises. Oh, gosh. But really the bruises are, they, you don't know you're getting a bruise at the time. They just show up later in really odd places like, oh, wait, (laughs) where's this from? Like, oh, that's right. (laughs) They just don't look attractive. But if you... If you can just ignore that you're going to have bruises, because you will every yeah. time you will, then it, it's fine. Now, if you, so if you were dating somebody, would you dance for them? Or is this like pole dancing that you're just do, taking? I, I'm starting to. I, I, um, I'm so nervous that I'm not graceful enough. Yeah. I, I'm not nervous that I fall because I'm not going to fall. It's, I, I feel like a monkey when I'm around the pole. So that's not a problem. And I'm not afraid of being upside down or any of those things. Yeah. But because I've missed, uh, because I'm still learning that grace part of it, I mm-hmm. feel like I'm not very pleasant to watch it. So, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like watching, you know, a guy lift a lot of weight. And it's like, oh, okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but I w- I'd rather be, wow. <laughs> so how long have you been doing it for? Um, About three and a half years. <gasps> So, wow. um, and, and the first year is the hardest because you have to build up all that muscle to be able to lift yes. your own body weight and things and like that. And that's hard. It's hard. Uh, once you get past that, yeah. then you can learn the really fun tricks and, um, and it's quite, uh, you you, you train your muscles. So it's, it's, I mean, it's still this fantastic yeah. workout for me, but, uh, like I said, I'm, um, not quite ready to be dancing all the time in front of people until yeah. I get that, that dance element. <laughs> Would you include that in one of your videos? Like once you're I comfortable? Have. I you have. have. Which video? But, so people can check it out. Yeah, I have in parts of it. Um, and I do post my learning progress. Oh, uh, I like it. So then go to my Facebook page, which uh-huh. is Side Effects and Kim Cameron. And I do frequently post like my rehearsals and, and things. I'm, I'm working on a new routine right now. I took one where I invited some super fans. That yes. was like my first time ever dancing in front of people. And, um, but I, I did pretty easy tricks. So mm-hmm. now I'm trying to step it up and do um, not only graceful, but harder tricks. And, and I will um, take that to stage. So that's amazing. That's impressive. I have to start doing it. It's you know, fun. like the, the one time, like I said, I, the one class that I took that was uh, lap dancing, I was a little bit embarrassed. I was a little shy because I, was taking the class with an old neighbor of mine. You know, she opened up a studio and that was kind of embarrassing because it's like having to move sexy and, you know, like with, she was like trying to show me how to crawl, you know, like when you're crawling towards a chair and then how do you like, you like pelvic moves. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I was kind of embarrassed because I'm like, okay, she's my neighbor. And (laughs) of course, you know, when I took the class, like I met her when I was married, you know, then I'm divorced now. 
is, and when I was dating this guy, and it's kind of weird because when she saw me, she didn't see me as this like sexy, like I'm coming out type of woman. It was more like I'm in a marriage, I have kids, I, you know, because I kind of like let myself go. I was in, I kind of went through a phase where I stopped working out, you know, so when she met me during that phase, so, of course, now it's like, whoa, like, I'm sure in her mind, she must have been thinking like, oh, my God, like she was ready to just come out. <laughs> well, I, it, it does. It does force you to to come out. We all have it uh, yeah. as women. We all have that sexy side. It's a matter of not thinking about it because mm-hmm. we do it naturally, like by ourselves or yeah. when we hear a song we love or whatever. And it's the it's getting you to just release it, just yeah. relax. And then it comes out naturally. So I think keep working on it. It's there. Yeah, I'm going to, you're motivating me. I need to go back and start doing that again, you know, because I just, I, I find that like very sexy. Oh, I absolutely. think it's really nice. It's very <laughs> sexy. Thank you so much, Kim, for coming into the studio. My and I pleasure. love that you finally had a chance to come into the show now that you're in town for the Grammys. Thank you again. And everyone check Kim Cameron out. On her Facebook page. Facebook is Side Effects and Kim Cameron, or you can go to my YouTube page, mm-hmm. which is Side Effects and Kim Cameron, and see all my lazy, latest crazy videos. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you have to pick up her album that's out, Naturally Yours. You can find that on iTunes. And you could also be directed uh, to your on your website, right? Yes. Uh, SideEffectsMusic.com will take you to iTunes yeah. or Amazon or your, your choice of uh, music stores. Thank you again, and good luck this weekend. You know, all the amazing parties you're going to go, the Grammys. You have to post pictures. I will. I want to see your outfit. I want to see all that. <laughs> I will, I will, just for you. Yeah, please. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. And if you missed any of the shows, you know you can catch them on Spreaker.com. And also, if you miss the show live, it will re-air on uh, Dash Radio Discover on Saturday, 12 p.m. Pacific and uh, Sunday, 6 a.m. Pacific. And that's it. Have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you guys soon. And remember to always stay, do something good. Do something good for somebody. Either a little, I don't know, tell someone they look good, you know, inspire someone to do something. (laughs) That's always my thing. And you always know the tighter the body, the better the right. And that also includes mentally. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.